Hey guys, Klauf here, and today we are going to be going over something that people have suggested since the first episode, and I decided to include it along the way, and that is ammo items. So we talked about having this arbitrary reserve ammo before, but let's say you have a situation where you want to have items because for some reason it's survival or something like that. So we're going to be covering how to do item-based reloading so you see that i have 64 of these structure blocks which are ammo and when i hit f it will remove 21 of them uh, and reload for me so first off we're going to knock out this ammo dot reserve score and then we are going to go into literally the entire data pack and i know this is going to be annoying if you're actually following along uh, but we're going to change the structure of the ammo so we're going to change it so that's uh, ammo is now an array of things and then we're going to have count and we're going to call that zero and we're going to have type and we're going to call that 1b because uh, we will have different types of ammo as an option here okay and so in get stats we need to get it from ammo.count okay and this you might want to namespace so we'll make it ammo.count and so as you may have figured out now that we changed that, we're gonna have to go into a lot of places and remove uh, and replace dot ammo with dot ammo dot count. So for example, here we have dot ammo, we have to replace that with dot ammo dot count. And the next thing I want you to do is also replace at s ammo dot reserve with just dot ammo reserve dot ammo dot reserve. Uh, and we're gonna get rid of that scoreboard because we're gonna have an item based system. But if you still have a reserve, you can leave it as a score based system and continue that way but i want an item based system because it's more modular okay and while we're at it this is something i mentioned last week but we're going to fix this burst issue we're going to copy the burst function and make a second burst function we're just going to label it burst one because it's basically the same thing as burst and we're going to take all these commands out of the original one and go execute if score dot ammo dot count stats matches at least one run function gun shoot slash burst one so this will just basically allow us to not burst if we are out of ammo and we will check if we're out of ammo before we burst because bursting will reduce the ammo and we'll go burst uh and then we will just do scoreboard players set at s auto fire negative one so that will just force it to stop so that should help us prevent the burst the other thing is we i changed basically everything so you can kind of see uh dot ammo dot reserve to stats and uh dot and dot ammo dot count stats so those are our two new names uh okay and then inside the burst one we just get rid of this command here and there you go and make sure you change the ammo naming scheme here and specifically you're going to need to change the ammo naming scheme uh, here. Good. Okay. So the next thing we need is to add a new one. And that is dot ammo dot type. And we're just going to load that. And so now we know what type of ammo we have, which will come in handy later. So then we're going to go into reload. We're going to add a new folder called ammo, which has anything to do with ammo when you're reloading. So each time you actually reload after you load the stats, you need to get information about the ammo. So what we need to do is then go function gun reload slash ammo slash get. So this will load ammo. <laughs> this will load the ammo that you have. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the clear command. So we're going to do execute if score.ammo.type stats matches one. So this is if you have the ammo type of one, then store result score.ammo.reserve stats run clear at s hashtag gun colon ammo with a ammo type tag of 1b. And so basically we're going to have ammo that is could be various items and they're going to have this custom MBT and that's what we look for and it will put it onto the reserve score. And then we're going to do scoreboard players operation hashtag ammo dash dot reserve stats equals dot ammo dot reserve stats because the reserve ammo is going to be removed from these functions and then we need to save what it was before it got reduced and then see execute 
Uh, then we just need to do scoreboard players operation hashtag ammo dot reserve stats minus equals dot ammo dot reserve stats. So if we removed any ammo, then subtracting these two will have a number. If we didn't remove any ammo, subtracting these two will not have a number. They will be the same. So then we'll just do execute if score hashtag ammo dot reserve stats matches at least one which means there's something that we reduced right so we were we reduced it to some certain amount and that certain amount we reduced it by is going to be equal to the difference between the two so if we have 60 ammo and then we reduced it down to 40 then we lost 20 60 minus 40 is 20 so then we're going to do run function gun reload slash ammo slash remove and this will do a function to remove some ammo so then inside remove, we're basically going to uh, check the different types. So we're going to check if it's type one, then run function gun reload ammo slash remove type one. And this will remove type one. And the reason I have them separated is because you have to hard code the type MBT checks, which is a little bit annoying, but it's the most efficient way to accomplish this. So then we basically need to remove however many that number is. And to do that, you could just say remove one, check if it's still one, remove one, check if it's still one, remove one, and you can just loop and just remove one at a time. But that will be inefficient if you're re reloading like a batch of 30. That could end up being uh, one, two, three times 30, 90 commands if you reload at 30 at once. Or if you reload 100 at once, that could end up at best being uh, 300 commands. So instead, we're going to use a fixed number of commands using a binary uh, search type method. So we're going to first check execute if score hashtag ammo dot reserve stats matches at least 64 run clear at s hashtag gun colon ammo and then ammo type 1b. So we'll remove 64 if you have a amount that you reduced equal to 64. And if it did actually remove these, then do scoreboard players remove hashtag ammo dot reserve stats 64. So what this will do is it'll just go through every single value binarily and it will kind of reduce it. So let's say that you had uh, an amount you want to remove of 12, then first it will remove eight because that's the first number that comes up in the binary power of two. And then you're down to four, then it will remove four. Now you're down to zero. So that reached 12 and it kind of does that. So if you're more interested in how that works, maybe look up how binary works. We're going to just power through and hard code this. So that is all the binary patterns and it will run a set number of 14 commands to have a possible max ammo reduction of 64. So if you want to have a, a bigger capacity mag, you're going to have to just copy this command and make it work for 128, 256, blah, 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 blah. But 64 seems pretty large. So we'll leave it at that for now. And we'll adapt it later if we need to. Okay, so basically, we have obtain how much ammo there is, calculate how much we reduced, if we reduced any, remove, figure out what type it is, and then remove in a binary bit pattern how much we have to remove so that it can have a fixed number of commands to offload that. Uh, the only thing left to do is to get the ammo. So to do that, we're going to go into Minecraft, copy the tags folder, paste the tags folder into here, rename functions to items, delete the wor folder new world gen, go into items, rename this to ammo, ammo again. Then we're going to delete that go into ammo and add the item. And the item we're going to use is Minecraft colon structure block. And the reason I picked structure block is because you want something that uh, will not be placeable in survival mode and also stack up to 64. So that's what it shows the structure block. There might be other items. You also want something that is not going to be usable in a crafting recipe. So that's kind of why I chose it. So now the only thing left to do is to edit our functions for obtaining the gun. So we have this gun that has this ammo that has this type and all this stuff. We need to actually get the stats. So let's create a new, I mean, one of the uh, ammo pieces. So we're going to do give at s structure block ammo type 61 uh, B. And we'll do 64. The reason I did the B is because it makes the MBT a little bit lighter, but it's really not really necessary. I just kind of do it out of habit. Uh, that's just a side note. So that gives us the ammo. 
And now we also want to go into the item modifier that sets the stats and changes to dot ammo dot count so that we can actually see that. Inside set stats, you need to make it set it to dot ammo dot count. Otherwise, it's going to remove the uh, MBT. So make sure you pick that up. And once you do, uh, you basically give yourself the gun again and uh, hit there. And there you go. Boop, boop, boop. It removed a certain amount. Now it only reloads 21 because I actually have like a rounding error and how many times it's supposed to try to reload. That's just a minor issue that we might fix. But you can see that it's re removing the correct amount of structure blocks. Uh, and uh, there you go. It's just shooting one at a time. And we're all good. So that's how to implement ammo as an item. I chose to do a stackable item like that because I think it balances guns a lot better. If you, if you are doing something in a survival setting, I think it balances ammo because you can only carry as much ammo as like your inventory allows. So you can have different stack sizes. I think it's a very nice method, but obviously it's up to interpretation and people can do like different things like boxes or whatever, which I'm not going to cover. I think I went enough for you to understand the concept of doing ammo that is stored in the inventory. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.